There was no better way to put the finishing touches on the Super Cuda than to have Chip Foose himself fly up and help the guys from LMC come up with this AAR inspired color combo and design. But before we jump in, as always, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe. Thanks, and enjoy the video. Today it's time to decide what color we're going to splash on top of this Cuda. We've got Chip Foose here to help us out. He's got a line of colors with BASF, the Glazer at 90 line, and he's come up with a whole palette full of colors, and we're going to decide if we're going to use the color right off the palette, or we're going to tweak it a little. It's always fun to tweak stuff. I, I agree. <laughs> As I, I agree. see you've done here. Show me yeah. your card. Tell me, tell me what you're thinking. Okay, the, the idea here is we're taking a 1970 AR Cuda. It's got carbon fiber hood, bumpers, diffuser, spoiler, floors, splitter in the front. You know, so there's a bunch of carbon fiber in it. The original color scheme, obviously, was with the blacked out top, right. rear spoiler, and taillight panel. With the, the AAR Cuda had all the lines. Right. Are you thinking you want to keep those? Not down the side of the car. I, okay. think, I think we want to kind of keep it really clean looking. Mm -hmm. One of the things I'm thinking we could do is, since you don't want the AAR Cuda graphics down the side, maybe we do it linear with the car where the fender is going to be that gray but then we can have a bit of the carbon showing, come in with another gray stripe, carbon, gray, carbon, gray, and pull it over maybe uh, eight to 10 inches linearly where we get that AAR Cuda graphic, but it splits the carbon from the gray. So that's, that's kind of the theme. The other thing is, is the car's got to be practical. I mean, we're doing, we want to do 200 miles an hour. It's not just going to be a that's show practical. car. That's practical. That's <laughs> practical, exactly. <laughs> Um, so the powertrain's there, the aero stuff we've built. You've done some phenomenal work here. It looks yeah. great. Yeah. First thing I'm going to do is just work on our detail of how that front hood could go. Okay. And uh, you know, whether that's going to be carbon or not. And I can show you kind of what I was thinking there. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get too crazy with the sketch, but all I'm doing first is just laying out a couple different ways it could go. If we're doing that matte color, then all the gray and all the carbon is going to be matte. That's highlighting the carbon fiber right. part. Yeah. Now, have you seen the hemisphere green? In yeah, the, actually, oh, actually, BSF supplied us a, one of your catalogs. Now, that green doesn't look like it here, but out in the sun, it w when I made this color, it was made off of that sassy grass green. Okay. And we can look at that, or we can adjust it and do something that uh, you know, becomes becomes your dream color. Yeah, that's that's my goal. Perfect. Just as a quick indication of what I was thinking is that carbon's in there and we come up with either a dark gray or even go to a black. And you've got your matte color, you've got an orange stripe and then the green. But here's how you're breaking away from the carbon. You could bring the black around this way or whatever color we do. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come around. We'd lose this totally here then, right? Yeah. It would come yeah, black would... just to the edge the way Yeah, it... if that's where the where the panel is here, the front edge where the, where the grill is in here, I'd bring some green around instead of bringing that color down. Because um, you can have green, green bumper you can for have sure. Green bumper. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll draw it both ways, and we can. You know, you don't know if it's right or wrong until you see it. That's if the green is pulled back on that panel. Mm -hmm. Which of the two, I like the black coming down mm -hmm. better. I would figure probably an inch to an inch and a quarter. Okay. Maybe even, yeah, I think I'd pull it down in here. Mm -hmm. And then you can play with it. Instead of keeping that just a real sharp corner there. Just pull it around. Yeah, it, uh, what I would do is look at the profile of this fender and how that corner rolls. Yeah. Bring it in here and then not rolling back and going to that, but rolling the side into it. Here's what I'm saying. You can run that stripe on the flat and leave that little edge so it'll catch a highlight. Yeah. So this and then be, that'll be This would be the orange pinstripe and then the gray inside of it. If you're going to break the corner, then I would come in that way. Figure out where we're going to split it, if we're going to pull it back a little bit. Come in this way, and come into it like that. So you end up with that corner. It's picking up what this corner does if you look at that. Yeah. The green is going to come right up to the here. green would come up to the outside of that tape, and your gray is the inside. You're basically splitting it underneath. And then your pinstripe is And then is the pinstripe would top. be this line. 
So if you pull it, rather than being right on the line, which is difficult to strike, yeah. you pull it up on the flat, you can get a nicer line. And the other thing is that because it's a pearl color, it'll give you the flop. So you'll actually have a bit of a pinstripe before the green. Yeah. Thanks for the uh, for the help and my pleasure. You know, we're trying to figure out what to do with that front end and the carbon fiber, and I think that uh, that pretty much settles it. Okay, a quick ideation sketch here, but I think it tells a story, and uh, this is the easy part. You got all the work to do now, <laughs> and uh, can't wait to see the scene. The guys have all the work to do there. <laughs> yeah. Now you bring the film crew to SEMA. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. I'll see you back there. Well, the guys have been working day and night, literally, for the last three weeks. The car's finished now, the reliable truck's on its way, it's gonna get loaded up, and hello Vegas. everybody coming this morning for this press conference and Chip, thanks for coming out, helping us unveil. It's a pleasure to be here. Since I got up to your place, you know, I was blown away with how beautiful that was and uh, I haven't seen the car yet, but I'm excited to see it. And we had some ideas on what we wanted to do and we thought we'd call our friends at BASF and put, uh, put us together. It was a pleasure. When I got the call, I was excited because I'm familiar with your work. I was you know, excited to work with you. I had seen the 300 and uh, you know, when I heard about the CUDA project, I thought, oh, this could be great. And I know that uh, you also was, were interested in using the Foose line of colors, so I thought it was a natural as well. We had some real, you know, definitive ideas on what we wanted as far as performance. We built our own chassis, we did our own suspension. Uh, we have a 1500 horsepower twin turbo V10 in there. Now, as far as the exterior went, we, we weren't exactly sure what we wanted, and we thought, well, what would Chip Foose do? So we called our friends at BASF and they put us together and. I had a three-hour visit with Peter and his guys, and, and I was absolutely blown away with the shop. But we had three hours to come up with the design. I collaborated with Peter, talked with his guys. I kind of knew what he wanted to do. We did a couple loose sketches. We found a direction. Uh, you know, congratulations on getting here. I don't know if you had any sleep, but the guys had to be working around the clock. And uh, I can't wait to see it. Well, To see the process of the Super Cuda being built, or to see the Super Cuda in action, click on the playlist on the screen now.